terms of size and temperament. Look at this. Look at this. A perfect way to bring the wonders and the beauties of Africa home with this gorgeous serpent. Seldom have I ever run across a serpent as fearless as this one. You might be able to tell that I'm just a little bit nervous here. Look at this. I am in seventh heaven right now. For herpetologists to see this creature face to face like this, it doesn't get any better than this. Because you know what this is. This is Dendro Aspis, or the Black Mamba. When you first think of the Mamba, you think of dangerous, cruel, ornery, and ugly, like the Namibian desert. But in fact, it's a spectacular creature. When respected, it's a creature which really brings home the beauty and the magnificence of Africa. This creature goes lightning fast. His strike is nothing but a blur. And what all the lapids share in common is that they, for the most part, have fixed fangs, okay? Fixed fangs. The mamba's a little different, though, okay? The mamba has more control over his fangs, okay? So, as I talk to you and explain the natural history of this creature, I have to really watch what I'm doing. I can't get lost in conversation, because before you know it, I'm talking to you about mambas. He sneaks out about two inches out of my grasp, and then boom, he lands me with a very powerful bite, and then I'm in trouble, serious trouble. This is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world when not respected. The venom in this snake is potent. It is a neurotoxin, a venom which is ultimately designed to shut down the nervous system of both predator and prey. If this creature were to land a bite on me, I would have anywhere from a half an hour to four hours to start receiving antivenom. If you don't get the antivenom, you're going to die if you're bit by this snake. What I'm going to do is carefully unwrap him. I want to end this on a high note. We got lots of places to go in this world. So I'm going to be very, very careful. And then I am going to see you over there right now.